Unearthed photos show just how close Prince Harry and Kate were before bitter royal feud. Prince Harry and Kate, Princess of Wales were close friends for well over a decade, with the royal welcoming his new sister-in-law with open arms and soon developing a jovial relationship with her. The pair, along with Prince William, were often seen out and about at various royal engagements, even enjoying trips out just the three of them. Many commentators noted how Harry and Kate were more than just in-laws, and shared a bond that was more like brother and sister. Nowadays the pair rarely keep in touch, following years of strained relations between brothers Harry and William, with the situation souring further since the Sussex's decision to step down as senior royals and make a spate of public attacks on the royal family. Here, Express.co.uk look at some newly unearthed pictures which exemplify Kate and Harry's relationship perfectly, and where it all started to go wrong. The resurfaced pictures were taken in June 2008, three years before William married Kate, when members of the royal family attended the service for the Most Noble Order of the Garter at St. George's Chapel in Windsor. The pair were captured among other members of the royal family, such as the then Prince Charles the late Queen and Princess Anne. Kate, who was at the time just 26, appeared relaxed in Harry's company. Prince Harry stuck by her side, seemingly helping to ease any apparent nerves she may have had attending such a high-profile royal event. Harry also appeared relaxed and happy in Kate's company, signifying an already close bond with his future sister-in-law. The pair struck up a conversation, and even without William, they were spotted laughing and joking as they stood waiting out of the chapel. Kate's attendance at the event signified that she was soon to become a full-time member of the royal family. Prince William was at the service, as one of three new knights of the garter on the day, but he was not with them for the series of photographs. Wearing a black polka dot dress and a saucer-shaped hat, Kate laughed as her future husband was invested into the order of the garter. When news broke that William had proposed to Kate in 2010, Harry told the press that he was absolutely delighted about the engagement. Months later, Harry gushed that he always wanted a sister and was overjoyed that now he has got one. He added that he'd known Kate for years and that it was fantastic that she is becoming part of the family. The birth of Prince George in July 2013 is said to have only made Harry's bond with his brother and sister-in-law closer. Following his nephew's birthday, Harry spoke of his mission as an uncle. He told the BBC that he wanted to make sure he has a good upbringing, and keep him out of harm's way and to make sure he has fun. Jokingly, Harry added that he'd leave the rest to the parents. Harry recalled their close relationship in his memoir Spare, and said that he enjoyed making Kate smile. He also shared what he thought of Kate upon their first meeting in the early noughties. Harry described her as carefree sweet, kind. The 38-year-old also claimed that he admired her passions for art, travel and photography. Despite his delight at welcoming a new sister, Harry expressed his concern that he would lose his brother to Kate. He described the wedding as, what felt like, yet another farewell to a family member after the death of Princess Diana. In 2016, Harry began dating former American actress, Meghan Markle, marking the start of what would be known as, the Fab Four as they teamed up with William and Kate for engagements and joined forces on various campaigns. But the dream team did not last long, with relations between the two couples starting to sour. Rose reportedly broke out when Harry and Meghan decided to leave Kensington Palace, where Kate and William also resided, and moved to Frogmore Cottage. Reports were also leaked to the press on a row between the two women over Princess Charlotte's bridesmaid's dress for Harry and Meghan's wedding. In October 2019, just over a year after their royal wedding, Harry finally admitted that relations were strained behind the scenes. He said the pair were different brothers and that they were no longer seeing each other as much due to their busy schedules. In 2020, Meghan and Harry sat down for an explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey with the couple making various accusations. The now infamous row between Meghan and Kate ahead of the Sussex wedding was brought back to the fore. The Duchess sought to set the record straight, after reports said she had driven Kate to tears when Meghan claimed it had been the other way around and that she had cried over the incident. Relations have not improved since, 
with the Sussexes not having spoken to William and Kate for some months as the latter are still raging over the bombshell claims made in Harry's memoir and subsequent promotional interviews. The four awkwardly reunited in the days following Queen Elizabeth II's death, where the two couples went on a walkabout to greet members of the public who had come to lay flowers and pay their respects to the late monarch. Harry and Kate will reunite in just ten days' time, as the Duke returns to the UK for the King's coronation. But Harry is set to be kept at arm's length as the Waleses don't think he can be trusted and are still reeling from his memoir.